All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to take a function block and actually export it and import it and rename all the tags as if you were to duplicate and save yourself some time, but duplicate the exact same code you have on the function block and just rename everything, right? So again, without having to do one, each one of these one by one and then recreate all the stuff, say if you have multiple things you wanna do, you could actually do one of them and then actually come back and then you know just import and keep changing the names. And we're gonna show you the whole process from here. So in this instance, I have one sheet. And again, this is function block, right? In Studio 5000. It doesn't matter which version you're running because they're all gonna do the exact same thing. So when it comes down to it, this is uh, in my element this is a, a, a mixing cooling that I had I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna export this routine all right let's just throw this on the desktop okay so we're gonna throw that on desktop and then we're gonna come back and import that back in so I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna click import if you're on uh, RS logics uh, like 5000 in like studio or, or, or let's just say version 20 or below you're not going to have the add you're going to have just import or whatever the case may be or import or new it's it's a little bit different as far as that goes but as far as this goes you're what you're looking for is the import routine all right so we're going to go to my desktop we're going to find that exact uh, export which is going to be called mixing cooling you'll know because it says whatever your your actual name was uh, then it's a dot 5x right Okay, so this right here, we're gonna open it. We're gonna import it in. We're gonna change the name right here. So this is where you would change the name. Let's just say we want, in this element, we want heating. All right, so we want it to be heating. So we're gonna change the name of the actual, uh, you know, routine, if you would. We're gonna change that to heating instead of cooling. Now in this element too, we also need to come in here to our tags, and this is where we're gonna get, this is where a lot of people get confused, and I wanna make sure we get the the clarity right here because again this is very very uh it's, it saved me a tremendous amount of time in the past so right now you see this uh, this says the import name this is the current name that's being used inside of the the file that are the the actual routine that you exported okay so this is what is currently being used now you could click ok and accept all but you're going to have to manually change every tag now in this element you can see the final name the final name is going to be the name of the PID that you are or, or the in my element the name of the PID or the the tag that I want to use all right so let's just come over here and say this right here uh, we can come in here and change all these right uh, if we want to uh, this is going to be uh, again some of these are program tags so this is perfectly fine we can change this to two all right and then see it says create as soon as we have two all right so then we'll do this as two all right so you see it says create when it says create that means you do not have the tag in any anywhere in your program all right so the lead lag we're going to say two we're just going to add a two to all these just to show you how the process works the dead time um again it, and if you wanted to see how i built that that you can actually go back and watch that on a separate video but again when it comes down to it i'm just showing you how easy this is to actually import and export change the tags and go from there. We're going to change this from tank cooling um, to let's just say this. This is going to be heating. Uh, this is heating, and it you you'll see it does change, right? So this is going to be actual tank cooling. This is actual tank heating. We'll change it the heating being that we just were going doing this in the heating element. We're going to call this auto mode. Uh, then we're going to call it for heating. So that way we know, right? So we're just changing the a couple of the tags. And notice that every time I do that, it's changing the operation to create, okay? Um, sometimes you'll have to overwrite if you're doing something like that, but um, that's uh, if you're doing an alias or something of that nature. And you can also alias these tags if you want to. So keep in mind, this is a full editable type situation. Auto-tune for, and this is gonna be auto-tune, we'll, we'll say this is heating PID. All right, cooling set point. We're gonna change that to heating set point. All right, and this is the array PID sim a array. We'll call this heating. Heating PID sim. A. This is the array, and the array size doesn't change. All of that stuff will stay exactly the same. That's the beauty of this. This is why this is it makes it so much easier to do. All right, 
So this is going to be the sim control. Uh, we'll call that heating underscore sim control. All right, so we've changed all the tags. And now the operation says that they're going to be new. Except this one we changed to discard. Uh, why did it discard? Let's see. Let's change this. We want to create this one. So we want to create. Make sure we're creating all new tags. If we want the exact same code. Uh, now keep in mind you can edit this code after you've imported it. But if we want to keep the exact same baseline code that we implemented before. We want to just change the tags. This is the process to do that on. And again what you used to have is an import name and what you're going to change it to is in the final name and the operation that's going to do is going to be right here in the operation it's going to create it or use existing we're going to hit OK and then you'll see this pop into my routines down here so now I have my cooling which is right here I already have it open and now I'm going to have my heating so you see this says tank heating all this is tank heating everything in here revolves around heating so now I have another one. I can just come over here in my routines and change this and add a new uh, rung right here. Like let's just say add a new rung and then come in here and JSR that. We'll JSR that and then we'll add the heating one in there as well. And now it's fully in my program. Now again, I'm doing all of this offline. Okay, so none of this is done online. Although you can do this online, just be very, very, very careful what you do online because basically you could be implementing if especially in a PID situation you could be uh, affecting something so make sure you you're well aware of your surroundings before you do something like that um, I do everything offline again when I'm doing something this of this nature because the simple fact of it's easier to control it's in a controlled environment and you can make sure everything is done properly there's no risk uh, when it comes down to you know hurting the way the the machine runs or uh, maybe even safety wise for the person operating the machine be mindful of that so um, when it comes down to it this is how you now you can basically import export we can actually import this again and have another one we can come over here import this again and have uh, call it something else go back to the same exact one go to uh, desktop come over here go to mixing come over here we can change this again to mixing cooling we can just change this to mixing uh, temperature, uh, temp or something like that, and then change the same process again, and have another one. We can multiply these, so you see how quickly, and you know you can actually you program something before you want to quickly in, you know bring it back in and the same exact thing and program it again and again have it controlled completely separate, right? So we have the heating, we have the cooling. You can see these are different. You can see all the tags are different. They will operate exactly the same. If I were to actually go online and operate these things, they would work perfectly. So with that said, just wanted to show you a quick little tip to help you program and help you, you know, take a function block program or routine that was already done and actually export it, import it, change the name or even change the tags to make it easier for you to program something in the in the future or have it where you can actually do multiple things like if you're doing multiple function blocks right so you want to keep all your tags and you can do this with also with um, with natural uh, ladder logics as well but just keep in mind when this is is done I'm just showing you this in a function block environment too so I will come back and probably do a video to show you how to do this in ladder logic as well that way it's easier to understand the difference between the two so with that said see you guys on the next one